Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, let's us praise and thank the presence of Allah Almighty for the abundance of grace and the joy of all of us can still gather in this place without any barriers at all and always in a good health. Not forgetting the salawats and greetings we pour out to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Who has brought us out of the dark age to the era of red light today, namely Islam? May we all get integration on the end. On this occasion, allow me standing here to deliver a speech to participate in Islamic storytelling with the theme, the story of the Prophet and Messengers of Allah. In this opportunity, I will tell about the Prophet Ayub alayhi salam, who is always patient even with the most difficult life challenge. Before I speak a lot, I will to introduce myself first. My full name is Akun Setenograha. Most of my friends call me Akun. I am from Monosaling Gunungkitul. I am in the 8th grade students of SMP Muhammadiyah Plain. I live in the North Plain. I am really keen on English lesson, so I always want to participate in English competition, in speaking contests or storytelling like this occasion. That is held by SMA Muhammadiyah II. Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta, Muhammadiyah II Yogyakarta, Muara Challenge. To all the breeding companions and audience, life is full of challenge, and nobody is free from hardship. Even the prophets and messengers were tested with the trials and tribulations, such as loss of wealth, health, and loved ones. The story of Prophet Ayub, resilience, perseverance, and patience in dealing with the Allah tribulations is one of the many stories recorded in our Quran. He was a righteous servant and respected man who had been blessed with the countless possessions and wealth, but then was afflicted by great suffering and illness for his long period of time and lost his family except for his wife. The illness was so severe that not a single limb was free from the disease except for his tongue and heart, which he used to constantly remember Allah. Not only did he not complain or reject his faith, Prophet Ayub will praise and glor glorify his Lord, supplicating and making dua constantly with the whatever was left of his friends. To all the dearest companions and audience, one day his wife asked why he didn't supplicate to relieve his illness. The reply of the prophets, I live 70 years is prosperity and health. Why so then I be patient for the sake of Allah 70 years? After turning to Allah and calling for friendly upon him, his calling was answered as a result of all of prosperance and resilience, the Prophet was once again blessed with the sustenance from Allah, together with his health, with wealth and children, were restored and he was greeted of even more. To all the dearest companions and audience, the collective Muslim community is being tested, especially is this time. May he always grant us patience and sabr. Here's how and why we um, as a Muslim can rally on separately during difficult moments. Only those who are truly patient and relents only to by good. With every adversity, we so try constantly to pick ourselves up and continue along the strong path with sabr. That's all I can say. I say my deep apology for all my work. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.